Imagine a place where all known laws of physics crumble. Welcome to the enigmatic realm of black holes, the universe's most mysterious phenomena. These cosmic behemoths form from the remnants of massive stars, collapsing under their own gravitational pull after exhausting their nuclear fuel. A black hole's gravity is so intense that it warps the fabric of space and time, creating a point from which nothing can escape, not even light. This boundary is known as the event horizon, a point of no return. Beyond this, what happens inside remains largely a mystery, obscured from the prying eyes of our most advanced instruments. As we delve into the origins of black holes, consider a star much larger than our sun, collapsing under its gravity into an infinitely small point known as a singularity. Here, density and gravity reach infinite proportions, and the traditional laws of physics no longer apply. But what truly lies within these dark behemoths? Not all black holes are born equal. While stellar black holes are already mind-boggling, supermassive black holes are on another level of cosmic phenomenon. Found at the cosmic crossroads of almost every galaxy, including our very own Milky Way, these gravitational behemoths dominate the galactic neighborhoods. Imagine a celestial body so massive that it tips the scales at millions, if not billions of times, the mass of our Sun. Unlike their smaller stellar siblings that form from the collapse of a single star, the origins of supermassive black holes remain one of the great puzzles of modern astronomy. How they grow so immense, so quickly, is still under investigation. Residing at the very centers of galaxies, these colossal black holes exert a gravitational pull strong enough to orchestrate the motion of stars and gas clouds around them. Their influence is so profound that they can dictate the evolution of galaxies themselves. The question remains what could possibly reside in such colossal entities? Venture closer and the universe begins to behave oddly. Imagine approaching the event horizon, the mysterious boundaries surrounding a black hole. This is no ordinary border. Beyond this point, nothing, not even light, can escape the immense gravitational pull. The event horizon acts as the point of no return. It's like crossing into a realm where the rules of physics are twisted and reshaped. To an outside observer, objects approaching this boundary appear to slow down and never actually pass through. They are frozen in time, smeared across the cosmic horizon. But what happens if you were to cross this threshold? Here, the fabric of space and time undergoes a dramatic transformation. According to the theories of relativity, time and space, those two inseparable components of the universe's tapestry swap roles. Inside this boundary, what was once space becomes time and what was once time becomes space. This concept might sound abstract, almost philosophical, yet it is a crucial point in understanding black holes. It suggests that inside the event horizon, time as we understand it, ceases to function linearly. You can no longer move back and forth in time. Instead, all paths, all futures, inexorably pull you deeper towards the black hole's core. A place theorized to house the singularity, a point where density becomes infinite and the laws of physics as we know them break down. Once crossed, the secrets of the black hole begin to unfold. At the heart of a black hole, reality distorts beyond imagination. Delving deeper into this cosmic enigma, we encounter two of the most bewildering phenomena in the universe, the singularity and spaghettification. Let's start with the singularity. Picture, if you will, a point in space where all the black hole's mass is compressed to an infinitely small point. This is the singularity, where density skyrockets to infinity and the laws of physics as we know them simply cease to function. It's a place where time and space lose their meaning and traditional physics offers no compass. Now, transitioning from the enigmatic singularity to the dramatic process of spaghettification. As one approaches a black hole, the difference in gravitational pull between the closer and the farther parts of an object becomes extraordinarily significant. Imagine being stretched and pulled like spaghetti due to these intense tidal forces. This effect becomes more pronounced as you near the singularity, where the force of gravity can vary immensely over dramatically small distances. During spaghettification, every atom of your being would be elongated and drawn out in a thin, elongated stream of particles. It's a rather unappetizing end, but fascinating from a scientific viewpoint. This extreme stretching and pulling eventually tear apart everything that dares to venture too close. 
atom by atom. Could anything survive this extreme environment or does matter itself surrender to the abyss? Einstein's equations guide us, yet the singularity eludes them. As we delve deeper beyond the veil of the event horizon, we enter a realm where even the robust frameworks of general relativity begin to falter. Here, at the precipice of our understanding, new theories dare to tread where Einstein's might not. One such theory is that of quantum gravity. This emerging field attempts to reconcile the seemingly irreconcilable general relativity and quantum mechanics. Quantum gravity proposes that the fabric of space-time is woven with quantized threads, fundamentally discrete rather than continuously smooth. This suggests that at the very heart of a black hole, space and time might behave in ways that are utterly foreign to our current understanding. In this quantum landscape, the singularity, the point where traditional physics predicts infinite density and zero volume, may not signify an end, but rather a bizarre new beginning. Some theories propose that rather than a singularity, there exists a quantum foam, a chaotic and turbulent state where space-time bubbles and fluctuates wildly at extremely small scales. Here, the classical idea of a singularity is replaced with a dynamic, ever-changing state. Moreover, other theoretical models like loop quantum gravity offer a different perspective. They suggest that as one approaches what was once considered the singularity, the effects of quantum mechanics become so intense that space-time itself undergoes a profound transformation. These models predict that the crushing gravity of the black hole might actually be countered by quantum effects, potentially leading to a bounce or even a new expanding universe within the black hole itself. The implications of these theories are as profound as they are speculative. They point to a universe where black holes are not just dead ends, but could potentially be bridges to other universes or other parts of our own universe. They challenge us to rethink not just the nature of black holes, but the very fabric of reality itself. So as we stand on the shoulders of Einstein, peering into the abyss, we find not just darkness, but a potential myriad of cosmic possibilities. Perhaps what lies inside is not an end, but a gateway to new physics. What happens to the information of objects that black holes consume? This question lies at the heart of one of the most perplexing puzzles in modern physics, the information paradox, a conundrum first introduced by the legendary physicist Stephen Hawking. Imagine every book, every piece of data you've ever encountered. Information as we understand it is never lost, not even when you burn a book. The ashes still contain the information, merely transformed. But black holes, those enigmatic behemoths of space, seem to play by different rules. According to Hawking, when an object falls into a black hole, all its information is lost to the universe, seemingly breaking the laws of quantum mechanics, which state that information cannot be destroyed. This apparent contradiction has puzzled scientists for decades. How can information just vanish? Enter the scene. Recent theoretical advancements that propose intriguing solutions. Some physicists suggest that the information isn't lost, but is instead scrambled and stored at the event horizon, the boundary around the black hole. Others theorize it could be encoded in a two-dimensional hologram at the surface of the black hole. Yet another groundbreaking idea is that the information might be emitted back into space through Hawking radiation, a concept that Hawking himself proposed. This radiation implies that black holes can slowly evaporate, leaking out stored information bit by bit. The paradox tantalizes us with questions about the fundamental workings of the universe. Our journey into the black hole raises more questions than answers. As we've ventured deeper into the abyss of supermassive black holes, we've encountered a realm where the known laws of physics contort and often break down. These enigmatic giants, millions to billions of times the mass of our sun, serve not just as cosmic graveyards for stars, but as pivotal laboratories for testing the limits and possibilities of our universe. Imagine a place so dense that it bends the fabric of space-time itself, where time slows down near the event horizon, a boundary beyond which no light can escape. 
The peculiar and extreme conditions of supermassive black holes challenge our understanding and push the boundaries of modern physics. Throughout this exploration, we've seen how these cosmic behemoths influence everything around them, from the formation of galaxies to possibly being connected by cosmic strings or wormholes, suggesting a universe much more interconnected than previously imagined. The singularity at the center of a black hole, a point where density becomes infinite and space and time cease to exist as we understand them, beckons us to rethink everything we know about the cosmos. Could these supermassive black holes be the key to unlocking the mysteries of dark matter, dark energy, or even the origins of the universe itself? As they warp the very cosmos, they may also twist the threads of our understanding, weaving new patterns in the tapestry of scientific knowledge. As we peel back the layers of these cosmic enigmas, we must ask ourselves what other secrets might the universe be hiding from us?